For the first time in a while, there doesn't seem to be a clear-cut number one unit in the game. Ultra Gogeta Blue, Ultra Rosé, and Ultra Hit. There are good arguments for any of these three units to be number one. Since they control so much of the meta right now, I think it's a good time to go over the best teams to run right now in PvP. Now obviously this will most likely change with future releases, but for now let's explore the current landscape of PvP. So let's go. So to start things off, I think we should focus a lot on the future team because a lot of the other teams sort of stems from this team specifically and it's mainly well obviously with a lot of these teams nowadays you don't really run color wheel teams like having all five colors you mainly run three units and then you try to buff those three units through zenkai buffs good z abilities health buffs stuff like that right so this setup here is kind of what is at the core of all the other teams and it's mainly um, with these two units here, Rose and Zamasu, because Rose and Zamasu they work very well, and since um, Future has really good Z ability, especially with um, with my LF Rose, VB has a really good Z ability. Also, you mainly run these two with the Future bench, and then you're leader slotting one of the two other um, strong units. So, in this case, you run Future. First of all, let's exclude the two other. Um, ultras for now right you can just run a simple future team and it can perform very well these two and you can throw in like i said rose is a very decent good option especially if you don't have one of the ultras like ultra gojia blue he performs one of gojia blue's biggest um assets pretty well since he has the rising rush nullification he just nullifies it at sorry endurance nullification since he uh, nullifies it at all times cell is also a really good unit i've seen um i haven't faced him too much but from a couple matches that i did face he does seem to hold his his own well and then this trunks is also pretty decent um so that's that but like i said what you're mainly going to be running is these two and then you want to build off uh with the other units so these two you build them off on a god key team or sorry future team and then you run um where is he is he not here this dude on the leader rose gojo blue zamasu that's the foundation of one of the best teams in the game um and if you don't want to go this route which is like the future slash god key route what you do is you run future slash powerful opponent and then you leader hit R hit rose and zamasu is another phenomenal setup um easily one of the best and like I said, it really stems from the the com combination of Rose, Goku, Black, and Zamasu. And then you just throw in any of the other Ultras on the leader. Now, one setup that I actually been seeing, and this seems like it's actually the best team that people run in the top ranks. Like I'm talking top 100. This is like the num seems like the number one team. And it's a Sagas from the movie team um, built with Ultra Gogeta Blue. Where is he? Ultra Gogeta Blue pan where's pan red pan and then we go back with ultra goku black that seems like it is the best team to run currently rose gojira blue pan and then on the bench you would try to zenkai buff uh either double zenkai buff ultra gojira blue because he's gonna be missing out on the full ultra ability or you you toss in ultra gojira blue you can toss in this maybe not this guy because he, he has a hybrid buff um as a secondary buff but you, yeah, you. I think most of the setups I've seen is more tailored towards double Zenkai buffing Ultra Gogeta Blue with um, Purple Broly as an option, and then maybe merge Zamasu um, because you don't really care too much about the buffs to Pan because she's mainly there as a support type, right? To to give damage to your two other damage dealers. Um, so you don't really care about the buffs given to her, but obviously you would want to try your best to, you know, fully buff the whole team. But I think double Zenkai buffing Goji of Blue is the way to go for this setup here. And like I said, it seems like it is the best team to run in the higher ranks. But obviously, if you don't have those units, uh, well, you can't, first of all, you can't build the most optimal version of this team. But a couple of good options, obviously, Beast Go On is still very, very good. Um, Revival Go On is a decent option, especially having the Revival, which, you know, Goji Blue can't um, nullify. But this video is mainly focusing on the best team. So I'm going to be just simply talking about the best iteration, the best combination of units to form those teams. And in this case, it is going to be the Rose, Goji Blue, and Pan with the double Zenkai buff to Goji Blue and then the. I guess another buff to the whole team. So 
honestly, like those are pretty much <laughs> the best teams in the game. That's what you're going to be seeing in 99.9% .9 of your matches. Future slash PO, Future slash God Key, or movies with Rosé. That's literally it. That's the best teams in the game. But if you want to keep going further and going, you know, to some more, I guess, maybe not niche team, but teams that can still compete at that level. Um, one team that I've been running mainly in the top ranks is Fusions. And that's, oops, this is the wrong Fusion tag. Um, we're talking about Fusion Wars, and it's mainly Fusion Wars with Rosé on the leader. So the main setup I use is Gojo Blue, USV, and Goku Black. Now USV has seen some resurgence and he's gonna be seeing even more resurgence in the upcoming week because he's actually gonna be put back into the featured boost. So that means he's getting back his 20% damage inflicted, uh, or I mean, is it 20? Yeah, 20% damage inflicted and 15% to pure defense. So that's gonna increase his value even more. I do think he's gonna be rising maybe in the top 10 um, for sure. And he's gained some more value, obviously being paired alongside Rose Goku Black, who um, they both throw debuffs on your opponent. And uh, Goku Black is able to remove the immunity that many units have through his blue card, I believe. It cancels buff effects. So they the, uh, they uh, work very, very well. And then on the bench, you're going to be mainly uh, Zenkai buffing Goja Blue with SV because he's a natural, perfect Z ability buff for the team with the health and the strike attack. This Super Gogeta is a very good um, Z ability as well. And then you can go either way. You can toss in this guy for some defense, or you can go double HP. There's a lot of options. And this is mainly the team that I would use because I have a lot of these units at max stars, right? I have pretty much all these fusions at max star, except Rose, he's not a fusion, but I have him decently high star. So that's why I use this team. So fusions is definitely a sleeper hit on this list here. And USV, I feel like is a very underrated unit right now. So. I think this would work pretty well, and I do think it's going to see even more um, relevance once USV does get on the featured boost back. So that's going to be that. And the final team I want to discuss about, well, this is a final team, and I also have another team I want to talk about a bit briefly, but the next one is the Sun Family team. Now, the Sun Family team is going to be a bit weird. It's going to be like a Sun Family slash GT setup. This is a team that I've been seeing uh, people run and looks like it's pretty solid. And it's mainly LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Zenkai, obviously. The Tag 4s, where are they? The Tag 4s right here. Uh, I guess they don't buff Sun Family, but you, you would put them on leader. And then Pan. That setup is very well. Pan, obviously, providing some really good um, support. Tag 4s are still very good. Super Saiyan 4 is still very good. So providing some support to those two, and they just pop off there, is a very good setup there. And then you have this guy on the Z ability. This guy as well, both providing... I believe is pure strike arts damage, which is very, very good for this very strike heavy team. Um, and you can even switch it up, put in maybe Beast Gohan. It wouldn't probably wouldn't work as well because um, you would want these two to be there because this guy needs a GT bat ally. Is it GT or Sun Family also? I believe it's only GT if I'm not mistaken. Let's go here. Um, so yeah, GT, you need your GT battle member to get an extra usage, but the sub count reduction works if you have GT or Sun Family, so that's that's fine. But in case you want that extra uh, cover rescue usage, you'd want to pair them with some GT battle members. So that works out pretty well there. Um, yeah, I've seen this team run in PvP and it seems pretty solid. Uh, I don't have the high stars on these units, so it might not work out too much for me. But if you have like nine stars of these LFs, like Zenkai uh, SS4 and Tag 4s, and then Pan, I'm assuming at 14 stars, 1% unit, like it's going to work out pretty well. Build Pan. For most of these builds, you want to build Pan more defensively because she's not going to be doing any damage. You have already two other strong damage dealers. So build her as tanky as possible. Let her uh, to, to add to her sustainability throughout the match so she can continuously provide the support there. So this team is obviously not as great as the other teams. The other teams just completely blow it out of the water. But this is definitely still one of the better teams you could run, especially if you don't have the other teams available to you. So that's mainly all the teams I want to talk about, but I do want to brush up on one team that seems to have completely disappeared despite getting numerous buffs recently, and it's Universe Rep. Universe Rep was pretty good um, <laughs> prior to Rosé's release. I feel like Rosé's release just completely, just completely destroyed this team. You had 17 who was the pillar of the team, basically 
holding everything together and making sure that everything works properly. And then Rosie comes in and just quickly disintegrates him, quickly get like demolishes him. And you just don't see this team ever and ever, like ever. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Zenkai SSB Vegeta just like recently got a Zenkai and he's still a very good unit, but you don't see him being ran because this team just sucks. Um, but if you have these units, you can still make it work. 17, you know, Revival Goku can still put in work. SSBE, that's a solid core right there. If you don't want SSB, you can run Roshi if you want his gimmick ceiling. And it's really, it really sucks for this team is their best unit hit is doesn't really pair well with this team because he's heavily strike oriented while this team is heavily blast oriented. So it's unfortunate. Like obviously you can try to build this team a bit more strike based. Like both uh, SSBE and Goku have balanced stats stat spread, so you can build them more strike based. But it's kind of going against what they really want to do, which is being a range type unit. Um, but it's definitely still a possibility. It's just I just won't really wanted to brush up on this team because it's crazy that they've been buffing this team heavily since the start of the year. Like seventeen, we got hit, we got Roshi, we got Goku, uh, Zenkai. This like that's five major buffs for this team. Jiren was still decent at that point. MUI Goku gained some relevance, but he, he's obviously strike based as well. Like that's five major buffs to this team. They basically gave them a full color wheel heal here with, and then a free to play. This free to play Kefla is nothing crazy, but you know, purple unit. And then this team just completely falls off a cliff after Rose's release. It's just pretty funny and pretty weird that they had it structured this way. Um, obviously, the lack of a very strong purple unit is what hurts this team. Like you can run Jiren, but he's not going to do crazy amount of damage. But the lack of a strong purple unit to take care of that Rose is probably what's holding this team a bit back. Obviously, you can lead your uh, Gogeta blue and try to run this team, which probably could work. Uh, but at that point, if you're using Gogeta Blue and then you're using Hit, you might as well just use him with someone else like Seven, uh, not Seventeen, but like someone else like Pan. Uh, sorry, not Pan, Zamasu, uh, and it, it would probably work out a bit better. But it's just like I said, I just wanted to brush up on this team because of um, its weird situation and how badly it fell off after just the release of Rose. But that's pretty much all the teams here. Like I said, the main teams that you're gonna be seeing in 99.9% .9 of your matches. Future God Key, Future PO, and then the, the Movie Saga variant with Rose. If you have access to any of those units and you're able to form that team, definitely use that. And you're pretty much set to reach top ranks because <laughs> that team, those teams are just so autopilot that you don't even have to be good at the game to have success with that team. It just basically plays the game for you. But that's going to be it. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think. What team are you using running right now in PvP? Are you using these teams? Or do you think these are the best teams available? Let me know in the comment. I'm interested to know what you guys have to say. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. It's so important. So don't forget. I don't know, have a great day. See ya.